Hey guys and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Raven of Raven J Style. Today we have a wonderful video on one of my favorite things for fall and that's none other than fall boots, right? We can't have a good fall season without our boots and the boots are given this season. So what I'm going to do is talk you through a few categories of boots that I think are a good investment. I'm going to show you what I have in my collection and then we'll talk about some others that I may not have but I think that they are a good find for the fall and winter season. If that sounds good, stick around for more. Okay, so the first category of boots that I want to talk about is what I would call statement boots. And these are like my favorite, so hopefully y'all can get into them as well. But statement boots, these are the boots that when you wear them, they're going to get a lot of attention. They're going to make that statement, right? And they allow us to keep the rest of our outfit pretty simple because the boots are going to do all of the work for us. So I'm going to show you a few pairs that I have. And y'all let me know what you think. So the first one, oh my God, it's so good. It's so good. So this is a French boot. So it's giving, you know, a nice, I'll come up close. It's giving a nice like Western um, style, kind of like vibe, which I like. Now these are new to me, so they should still be available. So I'll link to them in the description box. But for me, it was the French. It was the color, this I'll call it like a chestnut color, but this just screams fall to me, right? The fringe and the color. With this one, you have a good classic pointy toe. You have just a, a classic stiletto heel. So not really, um, although it's a statement making boot, it's not super trendy because fringe, in my opinion, sometimes it's trendy, sometimes it's not, but it's not new. So you can, you can, you know, I will keep these for years. This is not something I'll wear for two years and get rid of. But I am loving this for fall. I am envisioning wearing this with um, denim. So like denim skirts, denim dresses, um, the skinny jeans. So I'll be able to wear these on top of my skinny jeans. And then just do like a, like a basic top, of, you know, up top. Maybe, I don't know, white cream, um, tan, something of that nature so that it won't conflict with the boots. So that's the first pair I want to talk about is French. Second pair that I'm going to share would be, oh my God, these are so nice. And you may have seen them if you are, you know, a shopper at Zara. But these are um, a black patent, patent leather pair. Now, I debated whether these should be on their statement or like your everyday boots. But because they have this shine to them, I'm going to keep them in the statement category. But you can categorize them as you like but it was the shine for me it's the shine that drew me in I also love this um, see that like design going across the top where it like starts up up high and kind of like comes down low kind of cut low as it goes back I love that I thought that was cool you have the cool pointed toe again very classic the toe is classic the heel is just a nice stiletto maybe like four inches but these are wonderful, um, very inexpensive. Again, these are from Zara, so I'll be sure to link to these if they are available. But yeah, patent um, leather. These are these are trending. I've seen these in other places. These are gonna go well with. Um, so I'm envisioning wearing these with like my leather shorts, leather skirts. Uh, you could also pop them on with your sweater dresses, of course. But yeah, patent leather for the fall. Let me know what you think. All right, boot number three under the statement statement boot category. So I'm going to suggest a an animal print boot. So animal print, the good thing about this, this really doesn't go out of style. It may not necessarily be trending, but like for instance, these are at least like two, three years old. I still wear them. I get tons, tons. They get like so much attention. Tons of compliments. But this is more of like a... Um, a snake skin, but you know, you can get find this in different colors, right? So I've definitely seen brown and um, I've definitely seen more like a yellow like mustard type color But I went for the kind of like black and white kind of neutral so that I can wear them with a lot of items um, I've worn these with dresses. They go great with dresses. You can pair these These are over the knee boots. So they definitely pair over um, Like skinny jeans or leggings as well but yeah, a good snake skin, um, or just animal print, doesn't have to be snake skin, I think is a good good statement boot for the um, 
fall and winter season. Okay, I saved, <laughs> I saved one of my favorites for last show. Now remember we talked about, you already see it, but in some past videos we talked about how silver and metallic is like trending. It's like that girl right now. So y'all, I had, I had to indulge. So I have this nice, um, silver light metallic pair. Now, if this isn't a statement boot, I don't know what the heck statement is, right? Look, look at that shine. Look at that shine. I cannot wait to break these in. <laughs> so these are new to me, but I will link to them. I got them on sale like under $100. So if they're still available, I will link to these. But get into that shine. Just, I mean, the color alone. And then check out the heel. So it's giving somewhat of like the Amina Muadi type heel. If you're familiar with that brand. Um, but you get the nice clear heel and then the silver, like platinum white color all over. And this is a, I think it's, yeah, it's a knee boot. But this is going to go so well with, I can see where this would like pops of color. Like I've been eyeing this purple dress, um, maybe, and then maybe even pink. Of course, you can pair it with, with neutrals as well. I can see this definitely going with like a black dress, black skirt. But yeah, anything kind of like um, solid, I wouldn't really do any prints or anything like that because I want the boots to like get all the attention. So yeah, I'm loving these. So another example of the statement boots that are available to us for the fall. So the next category of boots I want to share is what I'm going to call your everyday boots. So these are not going to be as flashy or as, you know, statement-like as the boots uh, we just discussed. But these are still essentials. These are boots that I would say will probably be good for everyday, like going to work or um maybe a bit more casual but they're definitely going to work a lot with your wardrobe so the first pair that i'm going to talk about that i have um really gotten a lot of wear out of and i highly recommend getting a pair of boots in this color if you don't but this is like an off-white um off-white cream over the knee um i'm sorry not over the knee knee boot so a, a cream knee boot so it has the classic again um, pointy toe, stiletto heel, and um, clearly if you're not into like the the knee boot, you can go for like an ankle boot if, if that's what you want. But I'm really here just focusing more on the color. This goes with, I know this color may be intimidating for some people, but it goes with so much. Like it, it, it's really one of my, probably like, I don't know, definitely a top two boots as far as what I get the most wear out of. Um, it pairs well with, of course, denim. So, like, this denim skirt I have on today, I can wear with that. Denim, um, I mean, anything. It's, like, it's it's basically, like, white. So, anything you can pair white or off-white with, this would work well. I love it with my sweater dresses. So, yeah. Um, these are old, but I'll link to some similar ones if I can find them. All right. After my white boots, I like to always... I like to always keep some ankle boots, okay? I think these are a good, like, fall essential ankle boots. Now, I typically make sure I keep a pair in black and brown, but you can choose whatever colors work for you. These are good for those days where maybe you're not into, like, putting on a whole knee boot or an old knee boot. You want something just a little more easier. I also find these good for, like, work um, or whatever, you know, weekends, church, wherever you're spending your time but i love to keep some ankle boots in my collection this one i've got from off sax last year i'll see if i can find something similar but it's in this pretty like i'll just call it chocolate brown with the brown heel you know very classic so i'll be able to keep this for a long time and then this one is a bit older but it's still a good boot to keep in my wardrobe so it's just a nice um suede um ankle boot i think these are from asos but again pretty old but i will link um to some similar boots these go with literally everything again it's a good good option um if you're not trying to go for something like super you know tall you just want to put on something a bit more simple but still have your boots covered for the fall Okay, the last boot I have for the everyday boot category, it's just going to be a simple um, black old and neat boot. Now, of course, the first pair I showed you was 
patent leather and shiny and statement like so i want to show you something a little more toned down these are these are very old but these are like a suede and a leather like combo and these are actually over the knee now of course you don't have to do over the knee you could just do a simple you know knee boot if you're not into over the knee these are pretty like detailed they have um some detailing going through the back with the little tie up there, but you don't have to do all of that. But I do think it's good to just have a, a go-to, you know, black over, knee boot. I would say knee boot because you don't have to do over the knee. So that's why I wanted to show this pair. I will link to some similar ones if I can find them. Okay, so we've covered a good bit of dress boots. Now I want to talk about um, some boots that are a bit more casual. And that's going to be what I'll call like flat boots slash casual boots. So um, the first pair that I want to talk about, uh, which are typically pretty, pretty popular and on trend every season, that's going to be just a um, combat boot, right? So the reason I think a, I would recommend to always have a flat boot um, in your wardrobe, I mean, it's for comfort, if nothing else, right? Because we can't do a heel, uh, well, you can if you want to, but for the most part, most folks, I think we alternate between like, you know, heels and flats. So for me, for my uh, combat boots, I have a knee boot. Now this is it's probably about two years old, but I'll look for something similar. Now, of course, with the combat boots, you can get these in, um, it doesn't have to be a knee, a knee boot. You can get a shorter um, combat boot, of course. So just depending on what's your style and what works for your lifestyle. But I think a combat boot is a good version of a flat boot. In addition to the combat boots, now I'll pop up some picks, but you can also go for just a regular flat leather boot, like in a black, a brown, a tan, um, something of that nature. And then the third category, which I is not really my style, but I know it's very popular and I know it's very comfortable too. So I just wanted to mention, and that would be the boots more along the the flat boots, more along the style of like the UGG type boots with the fur and such. So real soft, real. Um, real soft, real cozy. Um, I think a lot of people choose these boots for the comfort. So that's why I'm mentioning that. But those are the like three types of like flat slash casual boots that I think are pretty essential and that you could get a lot of wear out of for the fall and winter season. So the last category of boots that I wanna talk about, I'm gonna to refer to these as like bright colored boots. Now these are gonna be you know, pretty trendy. These are boots that are on trend right now. So of course you decide if you want to indulge and try this out or if you think it's something you can get a lot of wear out of. Now I've been seeing boots in tons of colors and I'm just gonna point out a few that I've seen that I think are like fun and cute. I have not purchased any of these, but I'm gonna pop up some pics so we can talk through them. First, I've been seeing a lot of pink boots, right? Because we know pink has been trending at least since the top of the year. So pink boots, I have seen these in various textures. I'll pop up some pics. So I've seen like the the croc type texture, like a croc knee boot. Oh my God, so, so cute. I've seen um, like suede, like a hot pink suede. So if you're someone that's really into color, these may be some good options for you. Um, I have also seen it in, oh, metallic. I saw a pink metallic. So if I can still find that, I'll pop that up and try to link to some options as well. So with the pink boots, I can see, I'm really thinking about getting a pair. I haven't gotten them yet, but I will keep my outfit very neutral. You could do all denim. You could do, I don't know, like, you know, just maybe do a, a clean white top up top, some neutral pants, maybe, I don't know, black leggings or something like that. Because the boots are so you know, bright and colorful, you want the attention to go there on the boots. So another, a few other colors I've seen, I've seen um, boots in these pretty like royal blue colors. So I'll pop up some pics and try to link to some options in case you're into that. I think I've seen them, I've definitely seen them in like the knee or over the knee boot. I'll check and see if I can find um, more of like an ankle length in case you're interested in that. And then um, green, I came across a green pair when I was doing my research too. So you definitely have a lot of options if you're interested in getting a boot in somewhat of a bold, bright color. Well, that's the end of our video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed my take on boots for fall and winter. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have some of these, are you considering adding one or two pair for the fall and winter season? If you're a boot girl like me, 
Let me know your favorites in the comment section. Thank y'all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.